emptied out my soul. You've heard it all before. Honest, but I know. So, good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, today we are off to London. One of our favourite cities. Definitely Atticus's favourite city, isn't it? My second is York, third is Bath. He loves London. Um, so we are going, it is Wednesday morning today. Um, we are staying three nights and we'll come home Saturday afternoon. So um, we're going to do lots of things that Atticus hasn't done before and that I haven't done for a long, long time since Anastasia was but small. But we're still going to go to our landmark. You still want to go? Walk up to the palace, don't you? Probably and... today. Yeah. So tomorrow... Obviously, we're travelling there today, um, you know, we'll probably, we'll take our cases to the hotel, we can leave them there until it's time to check in. We're actually staying in St Pancras. Um, not, not I don't mean we're staying in the station, obviously, we're staying in the area of St Pancras. The hotel's about a minute walk away, which I thought was ideal, and the hotel looks lovely. So, um, we'll leave our cases there, that's the plan, and then we will get the tube into... Um, like, uh, like Trafalgar Square area, I think and we should get this. Um, we should go to the station opposite Big Ben. Yes, good idea. Attica. The plan for tomorrow I have booked tickets to the National History Museum, which Atticus hasn't been to before, have you? Um, I last went when Anastasia was very small. Museum's free, bonus. Well, you and have then, to get a reservation, though. yeah, it's best to book online beforehand, but it is free. And then on Friday, I have booked to go to Madame Two Swords, which Atticus has never seen waxworks before. Um, then on Saturday, then on Saturday, we're, we're meeting be up with Anna and we're going to go to the Hard Rock Cafe. We're going to go to the Hard Rock Cafe and have some lunch with Anna on Saturday before we leave to come home. So, yeah, weather's looking lovely. Weather's it looking is. lovely. It's going to be very mild in London. I think it's going to be like 30. 14 degrees the sun is out yeah so yeah not so early today it is quarter to nine our train is at 9 56 there was no reason to leave super early um so yeah let's go to london yay <laughs> So I've gone for a chicken and bacon Caesar salad. Atticus has some home cooked chips with ketchup and some sourdough. How are they? <laughs> Lunch is done. That was a solid 10, 10 out of 10, weren't it, Atticus? 11. 11. The chips were, well, the Caesar salad was probably the best Caesar salad that I've ever had. It beats Bill's, actually. That was really, really good. So we are now at Horse Guards Parade. Atticus's his first um, place he wanted to come to. He loves guards, don't you? Them. Go and get some pictures. It's such a beautiful day here in London. It is mild. It is sunny. Apparently the police are behind. Armed officers. <laughs> Armed. <laughs> Because the sun's on it, you can really see the blue and the gold on the face. 
I just said to Atticus though, after going to New York, the buildings to me look not big at all. <laughs> it's really weird. Yeah. What? So I'm trying to get Atticus to come on the eye. Um, he hasn't been on it. I said it, I think he'd love it once he got on it and it moves so slow. It's gonna see another day, aren't you, Atticus? But he's never seen London from this view before, so I thought I'd bring him up here. <laughs> Yeah, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> putting their coats right, that's good. So update. It is now 20 to 5. It's getting slightly near dusk. Um, I've just had a cup of tea and we are about to walk up to the palace. Atticus and I have just had a little bit. One of us is betting that I think King Charles, I think, I'm about to say Prince Charles then, King Charles is in. I think he is. Atticus thinks he is going to be in. I think he's not. And then we are going to make our way back to St Pancras. We're going to check in. Um, and then pop out in St Pancras area later for something to eat. So yeah, you ready to go up to the palace, Atticus? Yeah, we're flagging, aren't we? Start to get a bit tired now. We're going to start walking at the map, but before we do, a little fact for you. So there's Admiralty Arch, and did you know they are going to turn this into a hotel? This is why the road is sometimes sharp. Can you imagine? That is going to be a really nice hotel. It'll be expensive. Expensive, I'd imagine, but nice. <laughs> I'm Leah. It's a Queen's mother's and Queen's father's statue. The Queen's yeah. father's has got a bit of bird poo on its head. So Atticus is vlogging this little bit. So the four were Queen's parents, basically. Queen Elizabeth II's parents. St James's Palace and for the first time Atticus has actually seen guards these guards and he's never seen these guards before in real life. They're They've got like a here. burgundy beret on. They're never normally here are they? Every time I've we've come to St James's Palace it's just been empty. I've seen these on YouTube. Yeah you've seen on YouTube but first time in real life. King Charles is there. I think King Charles is there. Look, it's the Royal Standard, which means he's there. It's not the Union Jack. I think it's the Royal Standard, from what I can see, and that means he's there. Yeah, for the first time. All the times we've come to London, all the times we've come to London, this is the first time um, the King or the Queen has been there. Yeah, look at that. He's in. Yay! Oh, look at the sunset as well, coming above the palace. The first time we Beautiful. Anyway. So we're at the palace. Something's happened. The gates are open. The police escorts just turned up. Is the king going to come out? Or is it going to be a private Or is someone going in? I think the king's going to come out. I think we can see the king. How cool would that be? I'll show you. The gates open. Barriers down and the police escorts turned down. Exciting times. Someone's coming. Exciting. This is so exciting. Most excitement I've had in years. Look. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Who is it? Come on, who's this? Who is it? 
king. I don't think it is. I think it's the king. I think that was the king. I think we just seen the king go in. There you go. Who was it? Anyway, update. That was the most excitement I've had in years. I asked one of the policemen at the gate. It was the one who was armed. The one that wasn't armed. Well, best not ask one that's armed. No, seriously. And he told us it was the Prime Minister who was going in. So obviously Charles was there because the flag was up. But I didn't know whether they'd put the flag up ready when Charles came, but no. Charles is there and that was Rishi's um, convoy going in for a meeting with Charles. How exciting was that, Do you know when it used to be uh, uh, the other Prime Ministers? They never used to have two cars. Now it's two cars. A bit like the American. Yeah. That was that was so exciting. The you were right. You said it was the I prime minister, didn't you? <laughs> and I'm, I'm standing there going, "It's the king! It's the king!" But hey, the king's <laughs> car. If you know a bit about the royal family, you'll know his car is like. But what I think it's quite an old one. Prime there first, you go. First time ever. That was exciting, wasn't Have it? You ever seen never, never. That was exciting stuff. Kings at home. We saw Rishi go for a meeting. So we have checked in. This room is very cool. I like this room. I, I saw it anyway on booking.com and I thought, yeah, that looks, that looks nice. And I've got the one room in the hotel with the balcony. Oh, yes. All right, so here we are. We've got a very high bed, <laughs> which Atticus has some little wooden steps to get up to. It's very quirky. Very quirky. If we look around here, we've got a full length mirror over there. Telly there. And it goes through here. We've got a desk with obviously Ooh, kettle, tea, much needed. Oh, I like this. What's it say? Mother Earth needs a rest too, so we won't change your fresh bed linen every day unless you ask us to. Oh, I like this. What do you think, Atticus? It's incredible. It's really quirky. It's, this it's really like cool. A, this is like a proper London hotel. This is a proper London and it, do you know what? It's in such a great spot, literally right next door We're to St Pancras. Yeah, it's Georgian townhouses, yeah. but so let's look in here. Should we put the light on? Comes down here. Nice bathroom. Oh, and we've got a bath and a shower that looks like it's going to be a nice shower to me and then i did request i did ask for a balcony um it's the only room with a balcony which is really cool and then we come out here we've got a little table and chairs and then if you look over there there's some pancreas how cool so Atticus has just locked the door. We are going to pop out for something to eat. Shall I show you them? Look, come here. It's really cool, actually, because normally nowadays with a hotel, you'll get a fob, won't you, or a card or whatever. But it's like an old-fashioned key, really cool. It's so quirky. It's really, like, quirky, decorated look. Like, we've got a blue door. There's a pink door. Yellow door. It's really quirky. We like this, look, we like these motivational quotes. You got this. Good morning. It is day two of London. It is Thursday. We are currently stood in Covent Garden. Um, the plan for today, the main thing is the Natural History Museum, but our entrance time is not till quarter past twelve. So we have come to Covent Garden first. It's about it's about ten to ten um, because Atticus wants to go in the British transport museum shop and get some merch so that's what we're gonna do it's quite interesting actually all the different merch we saw on youtube didn't we yeah. all the different like merch you can get and the different patterns that are on each tube line seats and bits like that i'll show you anyway so we're gonna go there first so let's go in and have a look and see what merch we can find shall we ask us are you enjoying london 
Yeah. Atticus has found some Elizabeth line socks. Oh, I love you. Oh, wow. So this is the, what did she call it? The quote, oh, what does she call it? This material, it's called a certain thing. I can't remember what she said. So obviously this is the Elizabeth line pattern of merch. Oh God, oh my God, it's the whole thing. Getting the pin badge? Yeah. Yeah, okay. What other lines we got? Show me, darling. Cause... What is this? Oh yeah, look, that's what she called it. The material is called a moquette. Seats of London. So that book's about all the different moquette patterns. I might get that. That's quite cool. Yeah, so she was saying, obviously, they take the pattern and then they just make all the merch with it. The... Don't know, what's it say? Oh, this is the old bus one, what she was telling us about. Now, this moquette is the pattern of the original London buses. This is like what they had on the seats, etc. Atticus, if you look, look, have you seen this one? This is so cool. The slap bracelets. They've got the... They've got the slap bracelets for each line, is that right, Anna Atticus? So what have they got? So that one's for, say, the Victoria line. Yeah. You saw these on YouTube, didn't you? What they got here? They've got the circle line. Circle line, Atticus. What was that? Some more around here. Bakerloo line. That's quite, it's a nice colour. I like that colour. The Bakerloo line. This is so cool for kids. Piccadilly line down there, Atticus. Look. It's the Piccadilly line. Metropolitan, that's the one you. This is so cool. Getting the whole collection. <laughs> this is all the different moquettes. It is so cool. It says here, look, moquette is, um, it comes from the French word for carpet. It's a durable fa fabric that is used in upholstery on all public transport all over the world. I've even got a sofa. National history so far. Incredible. It's incredible, isn't it? This food is really good. We're currently in the T Rex restaurant, which is in the green zone. We haven't yet done the blue zone, which is where the blue whale is. Well, we've done all the red zone. We've done the red zone. Um, a little bit of the green zone. We've not even done a corner. We've only walked out two bits of it. Yeah. So we've learned all about volcanoes and earthquakes. We've just stopped for some lunch. Atticus has got chicken and chips. We're in the T-Rex restaurant, I think it's called, in the green zone. And I have a tuna, olives, and red onion pizza. Oh, yeah. Yummy. You've heard it all before. All is but I know. Left these years ago. I was young and I'm old. Still care for the void. Oh, we don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow Never see the end of the night from the sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? It's much later now, I think it's about half past four um, The History Museum is done We were in there about four hours, I'd say um, Really, really good, Atticus loved it, didn't you? you Want to give him your verdict on the History Museum? Ten Ten it was amazing. I just, honestly, I just had some ice cream. Oh yeah, we had a, we had a proper Italian ice cream. I think it's, it begins to Oh, um, it was called, it's in South Kensington and it was called Bertie, I think, Bertie or Birdie. And now we're at Paul's. Amazing. Now we're, at, now we're at Paul's French, we're at the Boulangerie. <laughs> I've got a coffee, Atticus has got some milk and then we are going to, um, get the tube to Knightsbridge 
Um, and we are going to go to Harrods. We're going to have a little look in Harrods. Atticus has never been to Harrods. I haven't been to Harrods since for years now. 20 odd years. Then we, well, home. We're going back to the hotel and getting a bit of an earlier one. But really good, wasn't it, Atticus? Yeah. Enjoyed it? Yeah. Really, if you haven't been to the History Museum at London, um, yeah, it's really worth taking the children. So next time we're going to do the Science Museum and um, Victoria and Albert Museum. But tomorrow, obviously, we've got um, Madame Tussauds, so that would be good. So yeah, I'm just going to have my coffee, chill for a little bit. Um, yeah, and then we will head to Harrods. Okay, so come down to the Harrods gift section. Atticus wants to get a Harrods teddy and there is so many to choose from. Atticus, don't you want to have a look at all of them? Apparently there's a Dorman one. Atticus, do you want to come look at the Dorman? Oh, Atticus, look. £170, Atticus. You've got your Go Henry card, darling. With you. Atticus has chose two bears. I bought him one and he bought one out of his own money. He bought this one, looks like an old fashioned one, and I bought him the one with the jumper on. Oh, how cute. Six Oh yeah, but obviously no carrier bags, the bag was six pounds. Before, honest, but I know 